you, Learning Resources. I can't wait to open this. Hey guys, today we're checking out this coding critter from Learning Resources, so thanks to Learning Resources for sending this awesome STEM activity for us we to check out. We got the Scamper and Sneakers set, which are kitty cats. So we have a little house we're gonna put together and then Natalie can learn how to code it so they can move the ball of yarn around and then they can interact together. Look, I learned that they were magnetic. Ta-da! There's a button you can press. This one you can just... That one rolls? Free roll. So this one rolls, just in case you get it. And this ball of yarn. This is actually supposed to have a toad with it. So this one is Scamper and Sneaker, and there are a couple different animal varieties. We got the cat version, and there is a Coding Critters book here that Natalie can refer to. It's ages four and up, but it's still age appropriate for Natalie. So we're gonna turn it on on the bottom, and she can learn how to get coding, and it walks her through the different commands. Natalie's gonna turn it on. So she responds to these commands. So if you put those in front of her, <laughs> she goes forwards. A round table may not have been the, the best option for this. So we're gonna say forwards, 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 and then her ball is at the end. So see if she goes. Forwards, forwards, forwards. She did it. So I'm gonna get We've her. captured Isabella's attention as well. So I figured out that she'll do. This one's gonna tell her to go backwards. So I learned that she'll do the different commands that you give her. So watch. So watch. What? Why is she not responding? This one, she goes, she doesn't talk, she doesn't need batteries. Yeah, this one, show me how it's magnetic on the bottom. <laughs> um, All right, so you can make it go forwards and then side. <laughs> you did it. She's really cute. So there are a number of different commands you can do. You can use the fish that's on the top of the playset. This comes off so they can practice moving around the different items. And then the little scamper can meet up with sneaker and then their noses are magnetic so they connect whenever they meet up. And that has little story commands that they can follow. So it says, before Scamper could reply, Sneaker slipped off to the big tree and got ready to jump. Wait, cried Scamper. So they have different stories with the different <laughs> items on there that they can act out too. Roller. So you have to roll him. See? <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. What if you do? Do. You it's going go off the table. It goes about four inches when you give it commands. Middle button. <laughs> then the round button. Round button at the end to end your command. There you go. Now leave it. There it goes. It's coming over here. And this is Isabella, and she's going to give it a go. And she's very interested in coding. It's going to get the ball. Oh, there it got it. <laughs> nice job. And now it has to chase the butterfly. Now I don't have to hold it, though. All right, tell it where to go.
So I think this coating critter would definitely make a good Christmas gift. The kids are both into it. Natalie is seven and Isabella is nine. It's caught both of their attention. It is for ages four and up. But it's just a great interactive item that the kids can kind of learn some beginning coding sequences. And it's also just a fun play set as well. So it's kind of nice for them to have a coding activity that's not on a screen and it's interactive in 3D. So you have to press and hold the nose until the button, there we go, now it's in play mode. So then now it's not being told where to go, it's just kind of wandering. And this makes it feed it. And then this is patrol. <laughs> it's on patrol. <laughs> this is dance. I got the yarn that time. This is nap time. Oh no, I said patrol again. This is nap time. <laughs> it's nap time, cat. And then this is pet. When it's lit up. So if it's lit up on the top, it's in play mode. And if we want it to go back to coding mode, you just put it, hold the nose until the light goes off. And now it's back in coding mode. So I'm gonna hit arrow and it's going to Isabella. Get the yarn. Get the yarn. So thanks for checking out this coding critter. Let us know if you have any questions down below. And we will see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! Meow.